All right, let me explain how this all comes together. So if we want to bend out a basket like this, what we're interested in is the wire and the center line of that wire. The reason we're interested in the center line because that way it doesn't matter what the diameter of the wire is, the center line curve is always the same. If you bring in the center line into our software, we slice it up like a 3D printer slicer and we take all the little points that are created from that slicer and we use it to drive commands to move the motion on the, on the machine. So if you were to instruct an ant to walk down this wire, what you're asking it to do is you say go forward for a bit, then make a left, go forward, left, forward, left, now start making a right, forward, right, forward, right, forward, right. So that's what happens with the feed and bend curves on the machine. What is happening is it is feeding and then bending and feeding and bending and feeding and bending. And that's exactly how this machine works. We take that, we translate it into a commands that the machine wants to hear, and that uh, in this case is G-code. We send the G-code, the firmware turns that into pulse and direction, which drives our motors, which feeds the wheels and moves the bender. And that's how this all goes from art to part.